Eu tinha um pouco de é, receio a respeito disso, né? Da nossa roupa, tudo, porque no Brasil nós somos umas, as pessoas né, estão acostumadas, porém nós viemos aqui e vamos mostrar o que nós somos. Sim, com certeza. Eu não bebo, né, mas me sinto mais confortável, sim, porque realmente, né, quando tem bebida as pessoas se alteram um pouco, então a gente se sente mais confortável, sim. I'm feeling very comfortable, even if there is no World Cup, because um, liquor here is not, not banned, but it was, uh, how do you call that one, um, they, they controlled it, they, they put it in a proper place, so it, will, it is more safer for all the people, even if you're walking midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., nobody will touch you, because people here, they are disciplined. A gente tem que se adaptar um pouco à cultura do lugar. Em momento nenhum eu fui desrespeitada, mas a cultura deles é uma cultura de roupa um pouco mais fechada. Apesar da minha blusa ser um pouquinho mais transparente, eu tomei o cuidado de estar com uma saia mais comprida, não colocar uns shorts. Não vi nenhum problema de gente olhando, reparando, não, de forma alguma, até porque a gente está num momento de várias culturas com a Copa do Mundo. It's been absolutely fine. I've had no problems. The press have reported on this quite negatively prior to me coming out here, so I did have a few worries. But everyone is so welcoming. I've been fine walking about on my own. Yes, they got a perspective about the Middle East, about women here. They have freedom. Um, they can do whatever they want. It's nice to to be exposed to this kind of culture because it's definitely different than the Western culture. It doesn't matter if the games end up uh, really late at night or you walk to your, uh, to your place really late. Every place feels safe. Feels, uh, we feel confident that walking around the city, as a woman, I feel safe. Uh, yeah, we are wearing whatever we want. I actually feel like, like Qatar is really safe in every aspect. Uh, as being a woman in a World Cup is completely different than being like a, a, a woman in daily basis in Qatar. What was, that? What was the most difficult part? I think um, hosting the World Cup here and having more than a million fans coming to attend this tournament it helps in the misperception. A lot of people actually have a misperception, especially when it comes to the role of women uh, in Qatar or in the region. So coming here and seeing, I mean, no, actually women do have rights and women actually being empowered throughout uh, their journey when they were kids or they're actually young or if they were part of the workforce. So for us, I think this is actually one of the legacies that this World Cup would leave of changing the perception of people have in this part of the world. And yeah, I mean, like this, is, there is no better than sports to actually help in clarifying and bridging this cultural gap. Uh, globally, 
uh, football is a, a, a male dominant uh, uh, sport or male dominant field. But uh, as I said, working together with our male uh, uh, colleague who supported us in different ways uh, to make this happen and to make uh, the world look at us today, uh, um, uh, you know, delivering this a huge event.